Imagine a time over 4,000 years ago, along the banks of the mighty Yellow River, where the seeds of a great civilization were sown. This fertile land, cradled by mountains and nourished by the river's ceaseless flow, witnessed the rise of the Shia and Shang dynasties. The rulers of these dynasties laid the groundwork for a culture that would endure the test of time. They harnessed the power of the written word, crafting inscriptions on oracle bones that marked the earliest known form of Chinese writing. They developed a complex system of rituals and music, embodying the harmony they sought in their world. Bronze casting was elevated to an art form, with intricate vessels showcasing the sophistication of their craftsmanship. These were the first chapters in an epic tale of resilience, innovation, and constant evolution. The echoes of those ancient times still resonate deeply in the foundations of modern China. Dynasties rose and fell, each leaving its own unique imprint on the fabric of Chinese history. The imperial era, marked by the rise of the Great Wall and the Forbidden City, stands as a testament to the country's unmatched architectural prowess and its deep-rooted cultural heritage. The Great Wall, known as the Long Wall of 10,000 Li in Mandarin, was a remarkable feat of ancient engineering, stretching over 5,000 miles. It served not only as a defensive barrier, but also as a symbol of unity and strength. On the other hand, the Forbidden City, with its ornate palaces and vast courtyards, was the beating heart of the empire, housing emperors and their households for almost 500 years. This period also witnessed a surge in cultural and philosophical advancements, nurturing the minds that shaped the course of Chinese history. The Forbidden City, a testament to China's grandeur, stands proudly as a symbol of imperial power. Far beyond its borders, China's influence stretched, with the Silk Road acting as a cultural bridge between East and West. This ancient network of trade routes, originating in the Han Dynasty, was not merely a path for the exchange of goods. It was a conduit for the sharing of ideas, philosophies, and beliefs across continents. From the Chinese heartland, caravans laden with silk, spices, tea, and porcelain embarked on arduous journeys, traversing treacherous mountains, parched deserts, and vast steppes. They ventured into the bustling markets of Central Asia, the rich cities of Persia, and eventually reached the shores of the Mediterranean. But it wasn't just material goods that were exchanged. The Silk Road facilitated the spread of Buddhism from India to China, the introduction of papermaking to the West, and the exchange of scientific and mathematical knowledge between different cultures. Like threads in a global tapestry, goods, ideas, and beliefs flowed along the Silk Road weaving a richly diverse cultural heritage. A storm swept across the steppes, as the Mongol hordes left an indelible mark on Chinese history. This period saw the rise of one of the most formidable empires the world has ever known. Led by the legendary Genghis Khan and his successors, the Mongols were relentless in their pursuit of conquest, and China was no exception. The Mongols' invasion was tumultuous, yet it was also a catalyst for change. With the establishment of the Yuan Dynasty under Kublai Khan, grandchild of Genghis Khan, China was united under foreign rule. This period saw an unprecedented fusion of cultures and ideas, leading to the spread of new technologies and innovations. Paper money, a concept pioneered by the Chinese, became more widespread during the Yuan dynasty. Additionally, the dynasty's open attitude towards foreign trade and travel facilitated the spread of gunpowder, the compass, and other Chinese inventions to the West. From the ashes of turmoil the Yuan dynasty rose, ushering in a new era of technological advancements. The Ming and Qing dynasties saw China at the zenith of its power. A time of exploration and expansion, the Ming dynasty was characterized by its ambitious naval expeditions. These voyages led by the legendary Admiral Zheng He took Chinese junks, vast multi-masted ships, to the distant shores of Africa and the Middle East. These expeditions weren't just about exploration, they were a show of strength, a demonstration of China's maritime prowess and technological sophistication. As the Ming era gave way to the Qing dynasty, China's influence continued to grow. The Qing, founded by the Manchus, expanded China's borders to their greatest extent in history. This period saw a flourishing of culture and the arts, with the creation of exquisite porcelain, intricate silk weavings, and stunning landscape paintings. The Ming naval expeditions showcased China's maritime prowess, fostering diplomatic ties, and painting a vivid portrait of a nation at the height of its power. From the banks of the Yellow River to the grandeur of the Forbidden City, China's history is a rich tapestry of cultural and technological advancements. 
This journey we embarked upon has taken us through the rise and fall of dynasties, the bustling trade routes of the Silk Road, and the sweeping conquests of the Mongols. As we traced the footsteps of time along the Yellow River, we discovered the birth of civilization, over 4,000 years ago. We saw the rise of the formidable Shia and Shang dynasties, and felt the echoes of that era still resonating within the foundations of modern China. Our journey then led us to the Imperial Era, where we marveled at the grandeur of the Forbidden City and the majestic Great Wall. These enduring symbols of power and innovation are testaments to the legacy of the Ming and Qing dynasties. Through the Silk Road, we witness China's influence extending beyond its borders. This ancient trade route served as a cultural bridge connecting the East and West, and weaving a global tapestry of goods, ideas and beliefs. The Mongol invasions, while tumultuous, left an indelible mark on Chinese history. From this period of conflict emerged the Yuan Dynasty and the spread of new technologies, proving that even in times of upheaval, progress and innovation can thrive. Lastly, we sailed with the Ming naval expeditions, witnessing China's maritime prowess and the establishment of diplomatic ties with distant lands. This era saw China at the zenith of its power, showcasing its might to the world. Our exploration through the echoes of the dragon has shown us a history as vast and diverse as the landscapes of China itself. From ancient wisdom to modern ambition, China's past continues to shape its present and chart its future. As we journey through the echoes of the dragon we find a history as vast and diverse as the landscapes of China itself. Ever pondered how China's history took a sharp turn in the 19th century? The key lies in a series of events that shook the nation to its core, known as the Opium Wars. These were not just wars over a narcotic, they were battles fought over trade rights, national pride and sovereignty. When the Qing Dynasty decided to clamp down on opium importation, it ignited a spark that would lead to conflict with the formidable British Empire. The Opium Wars were a harsh reality check for the Qing rulers, who had long considered China to be the Middle Kingdom, superior to all others. The superior military technology of the British, coupled with internal weaknesses, dealt a crushing blow to the Qing Dynasty. This period of unrest and defeat marked the beginning of what many refer to as the Century of Humiliation. The Opium Wars marked a turning point, leading to the decline of the Qing Dynasty. As the Qing Dynasty fell, a new political entity was born, the Republic of China. The early 20th century became a pivotal period for this fledgling republic, as it grappled with the task of modernization and political reform. Key figures emerged during this time, particularly Sun Yat-sen, often referred to as the father of the nation, and Chiang Kai-shek, who would later lead the nationalist government. Sun Yat-sen was instrumental in the overthrow of the Qing dynasty, envisioning a modern democratic China. Chiang Kai-shek on the other hand was a military leader who continued Sun's legacy, albeit with a firm hand and a focus on military strength. Yet the Republic of China's journey was not smooth. The young nation faced internal conflicts such as power struggles and ideological differences. External pressures also added to the turmoil, with foreign powers looking to exert influence. In the midst of these challenges the Republic of China strove to find its footing. Yet, amidst the chaos a new force emerged, Mao Zedong and the Communist Party. As the Republic of China grappled with profound internal and external challenges, Mao Zedong and his comrades saw an opportunity. They rallied the masses, promising a new society free from the shackles of the past. Mao's vision was not without opposition, it sparked a long and bloody civil war, pitting brother against brother, neighbor against neighbor. But through perseverance and strategic brilliance Mao and the Communist Party emerged victorious. The year 1949 marked the culmination of their struggle. In front of a sea of faces in Beijing's Tiananmen Square, Mao declared the founding of the People's Republic of China. A new chapter had begun. The feudal system was replaced with a socialist republic, and power was promised to the people. The founding of the People's Republic marked the start of a new era. The following decades, however, were not without their trials and tribulations. The Great Leap Forward, a campaign initiated in the late 50s, aimed to rapidly transform China from an agrarian society into a socialist paradise through industrialization and collectivization. Yet it led to one of the most devastating famines in history, causing immense suffering. In the mid-60s, another dramatic chapter unfolded, the Cultural Revolution. Mao Zedong, 
fearing the loss of his ideological influence, launched a campaign to purge counter-revolutionary elements from society. It was a decade of chaos and upheaval, as traditional customs, culture, and ideas were ruthlessly scrutinized and often violently suppressed. Both these movements, though marked by hardship, played a pivotal role in shaping China's social and political landscape. They spurred significant changes in governance, education, and societal norms, altering the course of China's history. These events left a profound mark on the nation shaping its future course. As the 20th century drew to a close, China embarked on a journey of transformation. The nation, once shrouded in mystery, began to open its doors to the world. This period marked a turning point for China, as it introduced economic reforms that would change the course of its history. The four modernizations were at the forefront of this shift. Agriculture, industry, defense and science and AMP technology, these were the four pillars that would support China's ascent to global prominence. The focus was on modernization and efficiency, with a clear vision to propel China into the future. Yet, the journey was more than just economic reform. It was also about opening up to the world, embracing foreign trade and investment. As China welcomed the world, the world began to see a new, dynamic China. A China that was ready to take its place on the global stage. The impact was transformative. The country, once predominantly agrarian, evolved into an industrial powerhouse. Cities began to sprout skyscrapers, factories hummed with activity, and technology became an integral part of everyday life. The world watched in awe as China grew at a pace never seen before. By the dawn of the 21st century, China had emerged as a global force to reckon with. The dragon once asleep was now wide awake, its fiery breath igniting the flame of progress and modernization. The world watched, captivated as China began to shape its own destiny. China's journey didn't stop there. As we step into the 21st century the dragon continues to shape the world stage. The speed and scale of China's transformation is nothing short of breathtaking. It's a story of towering skyscrapers emerging from ancient landscapes, of bullet trains speeding past rice fields, and of a digital revolution that is redefining how a civilization interacts. China's modern cities are a testament to this metamorphosis. Shenzhen, once a small fishing village, has blossomed into a global tech hub. Shanghai, with its iconic skyline, stands as a symbol of China's economic might. Beijing, the ancient capital, melds tradition with modernity, its historic hutongs coexisting with cutting-edge architecture. But the dragon's influence extends beyond its borders. China's technological advancements, particularly in areas such as artificial intelligence, 5G, and e-commerce, are setting the pace for the rest of the world. Chinese tech giants like Alibaba and Tencent are reshaping global digital commerce and social media landscapes. China's growth has also translated into a significant global influence. It's a key player in addressing global challenges, from climate change to international trade. It's also a leader in infrastructure development, with projects spanning continents under its ambitious Belt and Road Initiative. From ancient wisdom to cutting-edge technology the dragon has indeed awakened. Over the centuries China's history has been a tapestry of resilience, innovation, and cultural richness. From the turning point of the Opium Wars to the birth of the Republic, from the rise of the People's Republic to the transformative Great Leap Forward and the Cultural Revolution. As we journeyed into the late 20th century, we saw China open up to the world, evolving into a global powerhouse. Now in the 21st century, the dragon's roar echoes, guiding the nation towards a future of promise and possibility.